Do you know the hot air balloons? The ones that I used to fly with people in there? Well, from observing or flying these balloons, we can actually learn a lot about trading. Hi everyone, I'm Pedro and today we are going to learn how to find the market bottoms and tops using the hot air balloon technique. Guys, this is DAX today, right after the London Open, which started here. And you can see that the price didn't start a trend immediately. It ranged here for some time during one hour or so. And there were actually some reasons for this to happen, but this is not the scope of this video. I actually took a couple of trades inside this range, but some of my traders were just waiting for the price to break the low of this range and they actually had some alerts here so that they could get notified when the price broke the range and potentially start a nice downtrend, which actually happened. It was really strong. You can see that the price tested the 8 moving average a few times or sometimes didn't even touch it and, and uh, broke again. We had some, a low here and the top, then another move to the downside, then it went very close to the moving average again and another move then another pullback going very close to the 8 moving average and another leg to the downside and it kept doing this several times until at some point right here after this line that's when things started to change and what can we see after this line we can see that we start to see more green candles or green candles with the bigger bodies, bigger bodies than what we saw during this big trend, this strong trend. And we can see the price making lower lows, but they don't go very lower than the previous low. The price goes to the moving average and makes another lower low, but it doesn't go much far away from the previous low. And the price also starts to take more time to make a new low. It goes up again and it makes a new low. It goes up again and it makes a new low. It takes more time every time. You see the, the distance between these lows, they, they are kind of increasing. While here we were having these lows pretty close to each other on a horizontal space in terms of time. Here it takes more time for the next low to come. It takes more time for the next low to come. And they, they don't go very lower than the previous low. And if we join these lows somehow, we can see that we have some kind of parabola here that stops at, at this low here. It makes this fake break and then it starts to go up. And this is where the hot air balloons appears. So guys, do you know that hot air balloons that people used to fly? Something like this. And then you have a nest where someone can be in there. And inside there, that nest, there is some kind of flame. And when the pilot increases the flame, it increases the amount of hot air that gets inside of the balloon. And this is what makes the balloon go up. And when the air inside the balloon starts to cool, starts to get cold, then it starts to go down again. Sorry for my drawing, this almost looks like a light bulb, but it's a balloon. So guys, imagine that you are flying the balloon. And this is the balloon again. And you want to land somewhere here. This drawing is even worse than the other one. <laughs> But okay, so your balloon, the air inside of your balloon starts to get cold, but we don't want to go down very fast, right? Otherwise we would crash in the ground. So as the balloon starts to gain some speed, you can just inflate a little bit of hot air inside of the balloon, and then it stalls a little bit, and then it starts going down again, slower, slower. And if it starts to increase the velocity a lot, then you inflate a little bit more of air inside of balloon. And then you control the way that you are going down until you have a safe landing. And now guys, look at this shape that I drew here. 
and look at the shape of what the market did today. We have the strong drop and then we start to see our balloon getting inflated with a little bit of hot air and then starting to come down. Then it's inflated a little bit with some more hot air and it comes down again. But every time that comes down, it doesn't go very fast. It goes down just a little bit more than, the, than what it went previously until at some point it lands on our ground. And this line here, this half of this parabola, this is what I want you to see on your charts. I want you to see the price going down very fast at first and then starting to produce lower lows but that take more time to form and they don't go very far away from the previous low. And when you see this happening on your charts and when you see the bottom of the parabola getting almost flat, that's when you should be careful about the continuation of a trend because this is actually a signal that an uptrend may start to appear. And let's take a look at what happened after this. I'm just going to delete my beautiful drawings forever and look what happened after that. After this parabola to the downside where the price lows start to flatten, then we start to see a parabola going to the upside. This is when an uptrend starts to appear. This is when we can start to ride an uptrend and taking trades to the upside. Guys, one thing about these parabolic moves is that we don't should expect then a parabolic move to the upside starting to go vertical very fast like it went here previously to the downside. We have a flat bottom here, but we just don't expect a big run starting to the upside. And let's take a look at what happened later because it was actually very interesting and I'm going to switch to the two minute time frame so that we can see it better. Guys, look at this. Look at how beautiful is this. We have this parabola to the downside. Then it starts to go up. And here at some point you can see that these highs, the price starts to having trouble to, to make new highs and it actually starts to make a parabola to the downside. These tops here, these highs here, they don't get much higher than the previous highs. And at some point starting here, the parabola, we can say that it's flat and then it starts to go down again. And what a beautiful move to the downside. So in this example, we have the bullish trend change with the parabola getting flat on the downside and then we have the bearish trend change with the parabola getting flat on the upside and then starting to go down down and down guys i want you now to take this concept i want you to look at your charts every day when you are trading and every time you see this bottom starting to get really slow to appear or tops starting to get slower to appear and that's your signal to be careful because a trend change may be about to appear. So guys, if you like this video, I would really appreciate if you could leave a thumbs up and a comment. And if you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel and activating the notifications so that you get notified every time that I release a new video. And if you want to learn even more, in the description of this video, there's a link to my website where you can register to get an exclusive six day free trading course. A big thank you to all of you who support me and I see you soon in the next video.